My name is Eric Wanaina. I'm a singer and a songwriter and a producer uh, from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm a husband and a father and a lover of animals. Music is always important, but in a time like now, it helps us to communicate, especially because we can't, we can't be with each other. We can't, we can't touch each other, we can't hold each other. And so music gives us an opportunity to share those emotions, you know. There's always a way that the chords in a song or the melody or the lyrics will transport you to a place. And at times like now, when be things beyond our control are making us uh, be restricted to our homes, uh, music plays a part in helping us, helping the world reach us and helping us reach the world. Diamond Kenya is a song that I wrote originally in 97, 98. At that time it was called Kenya Only. Then we did a, trans, a Kiswali translation in 2001 and uh, the song has come to um, people feel a great connection to it because it, it sort of um, gets a lot of um, airplay during times of crisis and people feel like it makes them, it, 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 it reminds them uh, what a great country we live in. Despite so many things that we see that are always making us feel like things aren't working well, uh, which is true. It's, it's a song that people, that gives people um, motivation and encouragement. First of all, it's made me very concerned. You know, COVID is, is something that, that we will be able to find a cure for, you know. But it, it's, it has scared me when we look at, for example, things like global warming, where there will be no cure for that. Here we are, our lives have, gro have ground to a standstill. What happens when there is a, a larger environmental thing Whose, whose, uh, whose beginnings were 100 years ago and that you can't just stop with a vaccine. So that's one thing. I think that also COVID has made us really understand the value of community and society, you know? We've been so locked up in our homes. But I, th I think that it has also made us see that we are one in very, very many ways. And whatever happens in Kenya affects someone in, in Syria, in New Zealand, as a, as a human race, we are one.